We're at Purple Door 2010 with Lee Nash, and it is so good to see you here. I think this is so cool. It's the 15th anniversary of the festival, and uh, you played with Sixpence early in the years of the Purple Door Festival, so it's very cool to have you back. Thank you. And what a great time as well, I think, in your career. But do you have any memories of Purple Door back no. in the day? Uh, just probably being really um, hot. <laughs> And there being people <laughs> playing songs. We've played so many festivals. We have, but yeah. Purple Door definitely sticks out as when you know we look forward to Cornerstone and Purple Door and yeah. As far as festivals go. Well, I think as we got closer and closer to the date here, uh, and I would hear, you know, Sixpence is working on new music, or, the, you know, the new Jars of Clay song. I started to get more and more excited for the things going on uh, in your career to be able to talk with you about. Um, first of all, I think, tell us about the new Sixpence project. Because I think, you know, when everything happened and then you did some solo music and then you would hear rumors of Sixpence getting back together. I mean, it's been such an exciting ride, I think, for Sixpence fans. Exciting so. and probably a little bit disappointing because a little we, emotional. We're a little emotional, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We got back together and then there was just this, there's just been this period of shaking the dust off and we're still in the process of that, but we made the record, it's done, and it's, we're so proud of it. It's called Strange Conversation and it comes out early next year and I think that, uh, I think that EMI is going to release a single in a couple of months, so it's very, it's imminent, it's mm -hmm. upon us, but um, it's just, you you know, there have been road, roadblocks, and who knows why, there's probably a reason for it. But we're very excited about this record, as I said, and um, Jim Scott produced it, and he's one of our heroes. And so, yes. Now, I, I was at your set earlier, and you were talking, do you know what the single might be? No. Okay. And it's nothing I've performed. Um, okay. I mean, there's a few things. I wish I could just say, oh, yes, right. this song, but we don't even know yet. We're still selecting. So different songs on the project, are, are you including any of the ones from your from your solo project? No, they're all um, original songs written by Matt and I and some friends as well. Um, and uh, yeah, they're all they're all new. So How exciting. Like oh, I can't imagine not liking it. I think it's it's just it's incredible for fans who have been waiting for so long. So that's gonna be great. Um, and to be working with Jars of Clay, again, last time I saw you was on the Christmas tour with Jars of Clay, oh, okay. which was phenomenal, with Leland and Sarah Groves. Um, what a great crew. And then to see you with Jars again, working on new music. What about that? What's that like for you? Yeah, I got to sing, uh, I guess it's the, the first single from Shelter. Is it the the Lock? This, I think uh, so. It, we couldn't find, it doesn't say anywhere this is Lee Nash, but at the first time I heard it, I said, "That's it has to be Lee Nash. Yeah. It sounds like Lee Nash. Yeah. Um, it is. It is. It's, yeah. Okay, it's Lee Nash. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, that was, I was so happy they asked me to be a part of that. Um, and I always love spending a little time with those guys. I mean, any amount of time. <laughs> right, I always you guys love have spending been... a little bit of time with those guys. Um, no, they're awesome. They're so much fun. And um, and I love I love the songs on that record. So but It's I such a cool it. project. It's beautiful. So did you get to go in the studio with them together, or did they just get your voice and send it in? No, I, I went up amongst them and right there in the studio, and uh, they've got their own place in Nashville now that's really awesome, and um, I had a, a great time hanging out just a day, a couple hours, mm -hmm. and, um, and it was beautiful, so I'm very proud of it. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we can't wait. Are you going to be doing any more touring? I mean, with these new things on the horizon, what are you uh, yes. Um, we'll just be doing, I think, some weekend dates this fall, and then when the record comes out, we'll be doing proper tours and, and all that business. So we're still shaking the dust off, though. It's still me a little bit more time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see what comes of it. Right. Well, me too. I'm so excited, but we don't. We understand it's been so long that um, that a, a lot may happen or maybe nothing. But we're gonna work hard, and the record's beautiful, so we'll just see what happens. So what about today? Having you back at Purple Door, seeing the amount of people that showed up for you, you never know. You have somebody back, you know, and, and you never know how many people are going to show up. They're going to be very into it. How did you feel 
with the crowd that was there because it was it was very full yeah. and it was interesting to see how many guys from the other bands showed up. Be Wright showed up. Some of the you know the guys from Seabird were there. Um, we saw quite a number of, of people who showed up for your set. Right. Well, somehow Sixpence has managed to. I think it's because of the, the length of time that we've been together, and maybe the time that we started was very um, important in Christian rock. Um, it was a very significant time, and so we were able and blessed to be a part of it. It wasn't because of us, but we were a part of it. Like the prayer chain and these awesome bands that came out at that time, and then and then we've stayed, you know, relevant. I think and. Um, somehow have a lot of credibility with other artists and, and with fans alike and uh, we're I'm, I mean I'm really proud of that and thankful for that aspect of, of when you hear the name Sixpence it's not like that band it's like oh yeah I already know they haven't ever done anything that's awful <laughs> I've mostly liked everything they've done you know we've got a good reputation is what I'm saying so so um, I like it you know when other bands check us out and I think it's just because of our, our history it's interesting you know, and it's been a long history. So. To hear you say today that it's been 20 years? It has been because we started. Unbelievable. In, I'm 34 now, and I was 14 when we first did our first like demo thing. That's 20 years. Yeah. You know, the best, best math <laughs> Your math student, is still but, sharp. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best math student, but, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Well, I'm so excited for you, for the amounts of happy that apparently are on the new project with Sixpence and Jars, everything. It's just, it seems like a great time for you musically and we're so happy that you could be here right before it all hits. So, thank you for stopping by with us. Thanks for having me. Lee Nash. Thanks guys. You're thank so you sweet. so much. You are so sweet. We just love you. Thanks.